Netflix and other streaming platforms have become a norm for most of us. Even before COVID-19, streaming videos on devices was normal. In this video, we'll talk about how the Netflix streaming process works today and why certain videos load faster than others. Welcome to Movie University. On this channel, we talk about all things related to the movie industry, so if you like what you see today, consider subscribing, donating to the channel to help it grow, and check out the other topics we've covered here on this channel. Prior to 2007, Netflix was still mailing out DVDs, and Blockbuster was still the undisputed king of the movie rental business. However, with the advent of streaming media, video watching changed a great deal. While internet speeds have become faster, there are more and more people online than ever before, and technology companies must continuously stay ahead of the game to give consumers a smooth viewing experience. So how does this journey take place? As you may have noticed over time, Netflix is creating a lot of in-house productions. Since they have the rights to nice, quality movies, they don't need to fight the legal battles for content rights and can have computer engineers skip right to delivery for consumers versus wading through lengthy and costly legal battles like they have with Disney. The computer geeks at Netflix will upload these movies to a plethora of content delivery networks, commonly called CDNs. Netflix and other streaming services install CDNs all throughout the world. While all of Netflix movies may fit into one large hard drive in their office in California, the issue comes down to the speed for you as a viewer. If the Netflix servers in Los Gatos were the only place people were getting their movies from, there would be a massive bottleneck of data being sent and an incredibly slow viewing experience for everyone. On top of all that, download speeds can increase and become worse the further you physically are from a source. Not only do multiple CDNs have the added benefit of putting data closer to the viewer, but they also give the added benefit of redundancy in case a server location goes down. Netflix even goes a step further with speed. Netflix works with individual internet service providers, or ISPs, to install data boxes in ISP server locations called Open Connect Appliances. These OCAs can hold up to 280 terabytes of data and come preloaded with a large chunk of Netflix's library. What this means for you as a Netflix customer is that instead of connecting to one Netflix server in California, or a Netflix server location several states away, the video you're watching might actually be coming directly from your ISP a few miles away. This greatly cuts down on the distance traveled by the data on top of Netflix not having to compete for internet traffic from faraway server locations. This explains why certain videos load faster than others when you're on Netflix versus maybe Hulu or even YouTube. Netflix has even thought of a way to update their movies and show catalogs on your local OCA so you don't suffer from lengthy system updates. In an explanation of the OCA process, Netflix stated, We have the somewhat unique benefit of being able to deploy the majority of our content and software updates proactively during off-peak fill windows. Because we can predict with high accuracy what our members will watch and what time of day they will watch it, we make use of non-peak bandwidth to download the vast majority of content updates to our OCA in our networks during these configurable time windows. OCAs can also download updates from each other, minimizing significant usage of internet backbone capacity during the update cycle. Don't worry about anyone stealing your data from your local OCA though. These servers only store Netflix video and give maintenance updates to Netflix. Netflix actually uses Amazon Web Services to store passwords, customer billing info, search history, and so on. AWS is super reliable and secure and is used by a lot of high-end businesses for enterprise-level server needs. As of 2018, there were less than 70 AWS server locations in the US, which is why it takes longer to log into Netflix than to stream a video. The login process may be competing for internet traffic several states away, while the movie you're streaming is likely just the next county over. This means that Netflix will push updates to the OCAs during times when streaming isn't as active, like between 1 to 4 in the morning. By doing this, by the time you come home from work or school in the afternoon, your local OCA already has the most up-to-date info on it, allowing you a smooth streaming experience at home. 
Are you impressed with how Netflix delivers video to you? Let me know in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe. This is Movie University, education and cinema.